apologies for the language. I showed it to John Kerry. John looked at it and said, wow, that's really useful. I will read it carefully to avoid f***ing up in my next speech. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I won't apologize too much. It was funny and it was a direct quote. And this is a snapshot of our latest Climate Now live debate at COP28 in Dubai, asking emissions are still rising. When are they gonna start to fall? I was born in 1972. Yes, I am that old. There were 327 parts per million of CO2 in the atmosphere at that point. It could be like thousands of years before we get back to the level it was in 1972. Yes, it's very long. Petro, I'm like, how do you want, how do you want to motivate people? <laughs> I'm not trying that? to motivate them, I'm trying to inform them. Yeah, yeah, but I, I, I'm speaking of the cop. You come with these terrible numbers <laughs> and you have key decision makers who have to make a decision today and they know it will be a thousand years before they see the result. No, I think in the new narrative, although we absolutely have to decarbonize, it's not the word to use. For me, the word to use is the word modernization of our world, because this creates no resistance. Bertrand Picard there, the solar impulse innovator, saying that we need to change the conversation around climate change and make it sound more positive. Keeping us grounded was Oksana Tarasova, an emissions expert at the World Meteorological Organization. Unfortunately, the greenhouse gas concentrations in the atmosphere are continuing to grow and continue to grow pretty fast. To explain why emissions are rising, Claire Stockwell from the Climate Action Tracker project. We really need a step change coming out of this conference and a clear signal um, to phase out fossil fuels. It can't just be the positive renewable story. The flip side of that is also committing to phase out fossil fuels. To find out what John Kerry and Bertrand Picard were really talking about. The climate urgency is also an economic imperative. Hear Oksana's reality check on emissions. As my favorite topic, we would see what happens in the atmosphere if they do something or if they don't do something. And Claire's views on whether COP really matters or not. We do think these meetings are working. They're just not working fast enough. Head over to the full video by following the link in the description and navigate your way to euronews.com slash climate now for the latest news on how our planet is changing with the latest data from the Copernicus Climate Change Service. My name's Jeremy Wilkes, science journalist at Euronews, and I'll see you soon.